Hi, my name is Cody Elliott, and I'm going to be discussing the process of mechanotransduction. So first, what is it? Well, transduction is referencing converting electrical energy into a biochemical signal. And then mechano is referencing forces. So if you put it together, this is how mechanotransduction is how forces are going to impact biochemical activities of cells or individual molecules. So how does it work? Well, if you know anything about nerve transmission, it's very comparable. So nerve transmission, we're obviously we're going to have a stimulus moving down the axon, and it's going to cause changes in membrane potential, which cause voltage-gated calcium-potassium channels to open up. So this is going to be the same thing. Instead of working on an electrochemical gradient, it's going to work on a mechanical gradient. So if we have a strong enough force or strong enough mechanical stimulus, mechanically voltage-gated or mechanical gated channels are going to open and close in response. So this is going to cause the actual cell membrane potential to be altered. In response, this is going to cause the sensory, a sensory neuron to be activated, and then this can be passed to the rest of the nervous system, just as a normal impulse would. So it's, these two processes are very comparable. So now, what's the significance of mechanotransduction? I included some examples up here of some of the most powerful and influential things that mechanotransduction does. So it's going to play a huge role in developmental gene expression. So it's going to really impact embryogenesis and how the embryo forms and develops. It's going to impact gene expression as a whole through the rest of life as well. It's going to impact cell migration, cell proliferation, and stem cell differentiation. And more recently, Dr. Franz, Dr. Christian Franz proposed the idea that mechanotransduction is actually the main facilitator of neurological development in embryos, which is a very big deal seeing as we re heavily rely on the nervous system for a whole life and it's fundamental to human life. So then I also include some examples that we how we use man, mechanotransduction every day. And we probably don't even realize we do it. Mechanotransduction is essential for hearing, touch, balance, and proprioception. So proprioception is how you're sensing where your body parts are relative to other body parts. And it also helps you decide how much force you need to use to carry out a certain action. So again, these are things that we like heavily rely on every single day. And we probably don't even realize that mechanotransduction is responsible for them. So in conclusion, mechanotransduction is the cornerstone of healthy cell function. It's incredibly important from every aspect of life, at every stage of life. And it's responsible for basic things like our senses to huge things, to how we develop our nervous system, what genes are expressed, and how we're able to grow and function. Thank you.